Inside his studio, Ramesh Nithyendran is experimenting with medium and colour. He's acclaimed for his bright and eye-catching creations, but normally they're in the form of sculpture. With the spread of coronavirus postponing all of his future commissions, he's trying something new. I think at the moment I'm just being a bit crazy and experimental. I just think, you know, I have I made all this work. It was meant to be shipped. I was meant to make work in these different countries. What else am I going to do? So I'm working on these massive paintings and I haven't done that before. With public gatherings banned, artists are searching for new ways to reach audiences and most are turning to the internet. At Ursula Sullivan's gallery, upcoming exhibitions are still going ahead, just without people physically there. The exhibition will be online, there'll be artist interviews online, there'll be artist statements online, so, so you're really shifting the physical experience to a digital experience. Musicians are also adapting. Australian orchestras have been streaming performances online but are now broadcasting previous concerts after social distancing measures tightened. And bands that normally play to huge crowds are holding digital music festivals, live streaming from their living rooms, one after the next. Audience members can't see each other, but they can communicate through the keyboard and donate to support the industry. And hopefully, as this keeps going ahead online, we're hoping we can find a way for the audience to be able to pay to see the artists. Social media communities are popping up to help artists network in isolation. But right now, many online endeavours have little chance of bringing in any significant long-term income. Australia's arts body predicts that half a billion dollars in revenue could be lost in the next three months alone. And despite artists trying to adapt, without more government support, many businesses say they may not be able to survive. Times of crisis are really extreme mode, so I will be really unsurprised if we don't see a wave of cultural outputs of artists engaging with these times of isolation, dealing with technology. If there's any silver lining, Ramesh Nithyendran hopes these uncertain times will lead to more people appreciating art when they can again experience it up close. Nicola Gage, Al Jazeera, Sydney.